Hello and welcome to another episode of Ezoic Explains. I'm Whitney Wright and today we're going to be talking about how to stop bad bot traffic from coming to your website. First, what is bot traffic? Bot traffic is described as any non-human behavior on a website or app. There are good bots out there, like bots that crawl content for Google, digital assistants, chatbots, and social bots. However, bad bots are those that scrape content, spread spam content, or carry out credential stuffing attacks. It is believed that over 40% of internet traffic is bot traffic, and a significant amount of that is malicious bot traffic. These malicious bots violate a website's terms of service or robots.txt rules. There are also bots that carry out cyber crimes such as identity theft or account takeover. While some of these practices are illegal, there are still malicious bots out there that aren't doing anything illegal. To disguise themselves, bots may be distributed through a botnet, meaning copies of the bot are running on multiple devices. Because each device has its own IP address, botnet traffic comes from multiple different IP addresses, which makes it difficult to identify and block the source of the malicious bot traffic. Excessive bot traffic can overwhelm a web server's resources, slowing or stopping services for a real human trying to use a website or application. Sometimes this is intentional and takes the form of a DOS or DDoS attack. A DOS attack is a type of cyber attack when a malicious actor aims to render a computer or other device unavailable to its intended users by interrupting the device's normal functioning. A DDoS attack is a malicious attack meant to disrupt the normal traffic of a targeted server, service, or network by overwhelming the target or its infrastructure with the flood of internet traffic. Malicious bot activity can include credential stuffing, web content scraping, DOS or DDoS attacks, brute force password cracking, inventory hoarding, spam content, email address harvesting, and click fraud. Advertising companies are good at detecting bots, so if a website is monetizing through ads and there's click fraud, there's potential for the advertising company to ban the website and its owner from its network. Additionally, sites with limited inventory can be targeted by inventory hoarding bots. These bots go to e-commerce sites and loads tons of merchandise into their shopping carts, making that merchandise unavailable for purchase by legitimate customers. This can also trigger unnecessary restocking of inventory. To identify bot traffic, web engineers can look directly at network requests through sites and identify likely bot traffic. There are many ways to identify bot traffic. First, the, if there are abnormally high page views, abnormally high bounce rate, surprisingly high or low session duration, junk conversations, and a spike in traffic from an unexpected location. Bot traffic can both hurt and skew a publisher's analytics. These changes in metrics can cause difficulty in knowing how to measure the actual performance of a website. Google Analytics will also allow you to exclude all hits from bots and spiders. Additionally, if the source of the bot can be identified, users can also provide a specific list of IPs to be ignored by Google Analytics. While this stops most bots, it can't stop all bots. Most malicious bots are trying to do something other than disrupt traffic analytics, and these safety measures do nothing to stop harmful bots except to preserve analytics data. A number of other tools can help stop abusive bot traffic. Other mechanisms, like CAPTCHAs, can be a first step in trying to block bots. These will mostly deter basic bots. Another way is rate limiting, or limiting network traffic. It often puts a cap on how often someone can repeat an action within a certain time frame, like logging in. A network engineer can also use log files to look at a website's traffic and look for suspicious network requests. They would then gather the IP addresses to be blocked. This process is extremely tedious, though. The best way to stop malicious bot traffic is through a bot management system that is able to figure out if there's bad bot activity and differentiate between user activity and helpful bot activity. Some bot management systems include Cloudflare, ClickGuard, Radware Bot Manager, and Akamai. And that's it for this episode of Ezoic Explains. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our playlist. You can find us on all major social media platforms. This has been another episode of Ezoic Explains.